I'll tell you what really grinds my gears, though. Charities. Yeah, I said it. Things just got real here, gang. I think they're a little too aggressive, a little too in your, in your face, if you ask me. Sure, you've had this happen. You go to the supermarket, and after they ring up all your stuff, they ask you if you want to make a donation right there in front of all the other people. That's not fair. Because depending on what I just purchased, it might ruin my excuse to avoid helping. Like one time I was at the supermarket, I purchased $30 worth of scented therapy candles. It's really no, nobody's business why I'd appreciate some space on that. <laughs> then the cashier asked me if I wanted to donate a dollar to the Save the Children's Fund. And normally in that situation, I'd just say, oh, sorry, I can't. Money's a little tight right now. <laughs> But since I just bought those candles, I politely explained to her, oh, I'm sorry, I don't care about the children. <laughs> and these do are everywhere, you can't avoid them. Turn on the TV, there was an ad that said you can feed a starving child for the price of a cup of coffee. And I don't know if that's true or not, I don't care. <laughs> but what bothers me about that ad is how they portray us hardworking coffee drinkers as some sort of free will and extravagant spenders going around to fancy parties, dropping $100 bills on coffee. That's not a real thing. That's why you won't see me at the coffee shop saying, ooh, double latte. Someone doesn't give a shit about orphans, you son of a bitch. <laughs> These do-gooders are everywhere. I'm sick of them. Even that Bill Gates has gotten to the act. He's always trying to get people to donate to his charity, which is weird. He's the richest person ever. Why is the richest person ever asking the non-richest people ever to send him cash? But he defends it, saying that his fortune will be donated after he's dead. Me too. <laughs> You'll have my donation over my dead body, Bill. <laughs> and even during the NFL football matches, they keep having ads on for the NFL's Play 60 charity which in case you don't know, is a charity to get kids to play. Because we have too many fat kids, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and that might sound like a dumb charity because it is. <laughs> but it really made me think, maybe the problem is America is doing so much better than so many poor countries in the world that the, to them, some of our problems would seem totally backwards when you explain them. They're like, hey Joe, how are things going in America? And I'm like, not so good. Too many fat kids. Sometimes it just seems like there's too much food over here. I mean, we try giving those kids Nintendo Wii's to get fit, but... That was a disaster. Most of those children are dead now. Wow, your country's confusing, but please tell me more. Well, California's having its worst drought in decades. Well, that sounds bad. Is there famine? Is there mass starvation? Well, they're thinking of making it illegal for people to fill up their swimming pools. <laughs> what the hell's a swimming pool? <laughs> You're not gonna like this. <laughs> a swimming pool is a crocodile free, <laughs> private lake. <laughs> we keep in our backyards then never use. <laughs> Wait, that sounds good. You've got a store of fresh drinking water for whenever you need it. No, 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 no. We poison the water. <laughs> and if the pool's above ground, that means you're poor. Yeah, if your tank full of poison water isn't in a hole, you're very unsuccessful in this country. People drive by and say, look at that rube with all his above ground poison water. Wait, so you just needlessly throw money into a pool of water? No, that's a wishing well. It's a whole separate stupid thing. That's when you have money that you don't want to hold anymore, so you throw it. What do you do then? You make a wish. Do you believe that it comes true? Absolutely not, that's ridiculous. 